So I'm wondering how long this latest eruption will last and if this summit eruption will move to one of the volcano's rift zones. KITV Forest Paul Drews reports on what scientists know about this eruption and what will happen next. Paul. Well, by monitoring current activity and knowing what Kilauea has done historically, scientists get a good idea of what should happen during this eruption. Although not everything is known about this volcano, and that keeps experts searching for answers. While the latest eruption got off to a spectacular sudden start, Scientists at the Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory had been monitoring Kilauea's increased seismic activity for the past month, but didn't know when or even if an eruption would take place until about an hour before this fiery beginning. We had a couple big earthquakes too, a couple of magnitude 3.5s at the summit, which are not that usual. Um, and the second magnitude 3.5 happened at about 3.30, 3.35, something like that. And after that, then uh, magma started moving towards the surface and we've got a series of, of smaller earthquakes, very sharp uh, pointed earthquakes that just sort of shook the whole volcano area for about an hour. Now that the latest eruption is underway, the big question is, will it stay at the summit or move to either of the rift zones? And right now it appears lava will be staying put at the caldera as the summit slowly fills with magma. We've changed the pattern in the volcano um, after the 2018 eruption, when we lost so much lava, the volcano kind of relaxed. And so it's going to take some pumping up of it, getting magma back into the rift zones and things like that, which just hasn't started. Even though Kilauea volcano is extensively studied and its eruptions well documented, this very active volcano still has some surprises for scientists, including how the lava is getting through all of the magma pooled below the lava lake. We've filled in almost a thousand feet of what was a big hole there. There is a lot of liquid down in there. And it's one of the things that puzzles us greatly is exactly how these normally the magma moves up through a crack and splits the rock up above it and comes out. We're wondering what is the mechanism as it moves through the other liquid to get up to the surface. But if history gives us an example of what to expect, we should be in store for more sites like this. We're going to have a, a lava lake for at least a couple months in there, it seems like, if we follow the pattern that we've been following. And uh, this lava lake is not going to, aside from gas to the downwind communities, the lava lake's really not going to have any impact on the people living here, except to put on a beautiful show at, you know, in the early morning and, and early evening hours. Now, just how long it will last is hard to determine, as in the past, Kilauea's eruptions have lasted for a few days or stretched on for decades. Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.